Hey guys, my name is Steve. Welcome to Wilmer Woodworks. Appreciate you spending some time with me today. Today we're going to have a simple project. It's a laser project again, back uh, getting to my light burn and things like that. But the reason for this project is, you've probably noticed from some of my other videos, I've got this little whiteboard that I keep track of all of my stats. Well, we have passed 3,400 subscribers and we are now at 3513. So I did not like the way I was writing. My penmanship is, is not the greatest. So I decided to do a nice little laser cut. And then now every time that the numbers change, I could just take a little chit off and put that new counter up. I also have a Facebook page if you guys are interested. Uh, but I may put those down here as well. So that's what this project is. I'll show you how I designed it very quickly, down and dirty, how I cut it, and how we put it together. So if you want to have one of these for your shop or the backdrop of one of your videos, I'll show you how easy it is. And if you do not have a laser engraver and you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'll put these for sale on my Etsy shop as well. So let's get to Lightburn and I'll show you how I do the designs. All right, the first thing that I like to usually start with when I make one of these designs is a cube, which will basically be my outline here. So the plywood that I'm using is 12 by 12. So I like to go 11 and 3 quarter by 11 and 3 quarter. And just move this right over here. And this will just allow us to make sure that everything that we're designing stays within those confines. So I'm going to lock that shape right now. So we're almost there. The only thing we have to do is put the little slots in for the hangers and then make the hangers and then we can move right along over to the letters. So that being said, now I think I like the size of these, but before I finalize anything, let me make the cue cards for the numbers. So the size that I think I used, I'm um, on inches now. I think I was about one and a half inches. And then I turn that off by about two and a half inches. And again, we go to shape properties and I just like to ease that corner off a little bit just because it gives it a little softer tone. So let's see how that looks. It looks pretty good. All right. And then the other thing I like to do is put our center hole. Uh, and this center hole is going to be 